kind of nervous about the parents. I don't know what they're going to be like. Living with strict parents, I think, will be different. It might be a rough week. Hi, Whitney. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah I got you. Thanks. Smoke? Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Do you drink? Of course, of course. I got some weed, so should be having a good time. We're going to party tonight. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking on two more kids. That's what you do. We'll see. A few minutes right before they got here, I started getting a little anxious and nervous just because of the unknown. Look at that. It's like death. When I saw we were on a farm, I was kind of like, crap, I'm going to do a whole bunch of farm work. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. How are y'all? I just gave them both a hug, and they looked a little nervous and out of their comfort zone a little bit. Hey, hi, Gabe. Just like, it was the first time I met this guy, and he just kind of came up and gave me a hug. Like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Well, this is our place. Come on in. Let's have a little uh, town hall meeting here. Laying out the rules for any kid is important, because if kids don't get boundaries, they're not going to get you. We feel like around here, everybody's got different roles. I'm the, I'm the dad, she's the mom, everybody else is kids. And we like to keep that straight, okay? We really are not into back talk. We don't cuss here, you know? We don't have bad language. We wanted them to know that obedience brings blessings. If you guys just fall in with it, it'll just be so smooth you can't believe it. If you don't, it gets rocky, you know? Now, this is kind of a time for us to have a, a bridge of trust to start this way with you and with you and us. Did you bring anything um, that you feel like would be a violation? Nothing for you, okay? Just the general principle of rebelling is unacceptable here, okay? The farm is not a working farm. The farm is something for us to enjoy. This is a great training ground for life. All I want to do is just live my own life without anyone telling me how to do it. I think if Steven doesn't change the way he is, uh, he's in for a real rude awakening. 